Really, I mean, I don't know what, what uh, like personally why he's sick and why he's in, in the hospital. I mean, me and Guru would go back 2001. He came to my 19th birthday in 2001, and I was like, you know, I was like, wow, Guru was at my birthday party. Um, I've known him for a long time. I've DJed for a couple times, and uh, I've seen, you know, everybody's talking about the dude Solar. I've seen him. I met him a bunch of times, and you know, he's he's in his own world. He got his own agenda. It's obvious. Like that's not even. I'm not even being insulting. Like he'll, when you talk to him, he's on his own agenda. He's in his own planet. Like he can be real disrespectful. And uh, I think the way he's handling this whole situation, at least the details that the public have and that he's publicly said is real disrespectful. I'm sure it's even extremely more disrespectful if I really knew what was going on. But I just know that people like DJ Premier and the whole Gangstar camp, who's like really good friends of mine, they're all very offended that they can't go see their man that they spent 20 years with making classics. They might not have talked to him in a while. They might have a fallout, but people do that. And they should, like, it's bigger than Solar. And that's the thing. Primo said those words to me. It's bigger than Solar. So it's like, why are you stopping? Forget friends. Like, he's stopping family from going to see him. So I don't really like to speak on people's personal situations, but hip hop is, a, like, as a world, hip hop is upset with this guy because his nephews on the internet crying talking about he can't see his uncle and it's like we feel like like I think a lot of people feel like Guru could be the uncle the way they grew up off Gangstar so it's like people are mad and I, I am too I hope I hope Guru wakes up and and someone has an explanation because this guy this other guy super producer who's never produced a good beat he ain't gonna be accepted that's it